like it, you could have picked a flatter bit of ground to start the video. It's probably about 50 degree hill this is. Right, we're in the middle of Colchester, walking up this steep old hill. And welcome to our new series, Dippy Detectorist Exploring. Come and have a look what I found, Leggett. This big old Roman gateway. This is called Balkern Gateway. It was built by the Romans in AD 60 after Bodicea wrecked the place, didn't she, Leggett? Let me take you inside for a better look. Look at this, Leggett. That is some really, really beautiful artwork, isn't it? Hold on! That ain't Roman! Matty's run off again. I think we're gonna come down here and have a look and see if he's down here. Uh, Matty, why are you isolating yourself? Well, for? Leggett, I've come down here to look at the height of this wall. It must be about 12 foot tall, but I've worked out why that is. In the year 1200 OD, the hill giants invaded Colchester and they obviously had to build the wall higher so, you know, they'd protect their body. What you got then, Leggett? Well, number two on the exploration trip, Matty. Jumbo Water Tower, named Jumbo after a big old elephant in London. 105 foot tall that is, and it holds over a million litres of water. Not gallons, almost a gallons. Anyway, wait, where's all the water go with all them holes? I've got a story to go with this one. You might ask, why have they got a water tower? I didn't know either until today. The Roman gate is right there, which held the castle grounds behind it. What they did when the enemies got through the gate, they all went up into the water tower and hid away from the enemies. When all the enemies come through, they released the water at one time and that flushed all the enemies back down the hill. And yeah, they won't come back again. Come a bit closer, Miller, let's have a look. Well, it was made in 1882. Guess how much it cost to make? How much? 11,000. How did 11 they get grand. How'd they get it that cheap? Well, I'll tell you, Norfolk, you know how good they are with their bricks? They'd done Colchester a great deal with the Romans back in the day. Us Norfolk farmer boys, they said, you know what, we'll give you some bricks for free if you buy such much. And yeah, there's the bit. Where are we off to, Miller? Well, Leggett, we're going to the site of a Roman church. Right, I'll tell you a fun fact before we go up. I've had a few goes at this line, I can't do it. You've seen the outtakes from our previous videos. Colchester is Britain's first capital of Britain. <laughs> and Britain's oldest recorded town. Come on, Leggett. I'm standing outside what we believe to be as a Roman church. Look at the beautiful glass, the beautiful brick, beautiful red brick, and uh, that, that sign, Colchester Art Centre. Oh, let's go, Leggett. What you got then, Leggett? Well, we've got some mosaics here. These were done by Jesus himself. No way, yeah. Bodicea. 60 AD she was about. How come Bodicea didn't wreck these then, Leggett? Well, Bodicea, her favourite colours were red and blue, weren't they? So she didn't touch these ones. She left Jesus' work. Lovely job. Leggett's been shouting again. Here, quickly here. What you got, Leggett? Look at this, Miller. You were wrong about that old church. This is actually the site of the Roman church. These bits here are the remains. There's a few at the other end as well. Yeah, in the late 19th century they had a few excavations on this pit and 700 bodies were found and, well, they moved them away when they built the police station. Uh, what was it? 320 and 340 AD this place was built as well, so it's old, very old, very Roman and very viscous. If you just come over here with me a second. These just look like bits of wood, but they've been put there for a reason. These imitate and symbolise the pillars and foundations which held this wonderful church up back in the day. So, yeah, what a lovely bit. Now, 1960 they built that police station, and you know why, right next to this Roman church, so they could protect it. Now, if you see there... Someone's nicked some tiles and some bricks, so the police ain't done a very good job. Quick fit! Right everyone, here we are outside Colchester's Roman Circus, where they used to do chariot racing and, uh, you know, giraffe petting. Anyway, it's a beautiful sight. What do you reckon, Leggett? Well, to be fair, Miller, I've got a barney to pick with them. Take oh, that yeah. off, Go on, go on, give them right. some. I will. Beautiful, look at this. Colchester's Roman Circus. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Now, what do us humans do best? We build over all our history and beautiful stuff and artefacts. We forget about it all. Look at this boy down here. Yeah, he's getting stuck in, isn't he? And now, all it is is covered in skyscrapers and car parks. And this is an artist's impression of the circus at Colchester. What it should look like. Spar Express! 
We're now approaching St. John's Green and the Abbey Gate. And we thought, as only right, we stop at the Abbey Arms for a drink. Yeah, 20 miles down so far, 20 miles to go. We feel like we're on a pilgrimage. And I will walk 500 miles and I won't walk 500 more. Right, Leggett, we're at St. John's Abbey Gate. Look at that beautiful building there. Now, St. John in the year 1450 built that building with his bare hands, no help at all, not even horse and cart, through his wife Abbey for her 50th birthday. Come on, Leggett, let's go a bit closer and have a look at the beautiful building. Good day. Now a bit of gossip from 1538, a bloke called Thomas Beesh had a bit of trouble here and he was putting his parts on, he wanted to close this abbey down and Henry VIII executed him. What you find a little prison in the abbey Leggett? Yeah Miller, well I was thinking, put you in there if you don't shut your mouth. Right we're now on our way to our next stop, St Botolph's Priory, we can't wait to get there can we Leggett? First, a fun fact for you all at home. You know Blur, don't you? The band, Song 2, Park, Life. Yeah, the lead guitarist and the lead vocalist, they went to school in Colchester. Another famous person who was born in Colchester is my missus. Magistrates Court. Hmm, I wonder how dodgy Damien's getting on. We find ourselves now outside St. Bartholf's Church. This was built in 1837. We're now going to take to the Priory. The old bit. Walking in, Leggett, what are you thinking? Please no drinking of alcohol on this site. You know who's not coming in here then? Gregory Hastings. First impressions, Leggett? It's a nice bit. Now's the time. Yeah? Yeah? What you got then, Leggett? Coming here, Mill, I'm gonna take you into this priory. I'm gonna talk to you guys about the grass roots of this beautiful place. Have a look around, Miller. What a beautiful big old building this is, Leggett. Yeah. It's where the nuns and monks used to congregate. They came down at 3 a.m. they did every Wednesday morning. Then what they'd do, they'd set up their disposable barbecue. I think it was this corner over here they set it up. Yeah. And they'd put some spare ribs on there. Some Tesco chorizo sausages would never go amiss. And uh They'd be nattering away all night to watch the sunset. Majestic Wine Warehouse. Miller, why have you taken us to Short Wire Street? Right, Leggett, you know I love my food. Well, Short Wire Street was the place where the first hot cross bun in the United Kingdom was made. Do you know where it is, Leggett, now? Where have they put that? Just standing right next to it. Come and have a look at this. Underneath this bin, it's cemented into the ground. We've just now stumbled upon the, the Natural History Museum. Are you right? <laughs> We've just now stumbled. Don't worry, you laughing, Miller. We just stumbled upon Miller. You stop. What you got then, Leggett? Well, Miller, we just stumbled. What you got then, Leggett? <laughs> we now stumbled upon the Natural History Museum, and the one time we're now getting it right, a car's now coming past. We just stumbled upon the Natural History Museum. We were really looking forward to going inside this one and seeing what it had to offer, but it's uh, shut on Mondays. Right, we're now walking to Colchester Castle, but let me tell you a fun fact. Dermot O'Leary was born in Colchester. Do you know where he was born? The X Factor Museum. Are you getting food again? I'm Nine. getting 10. Lovely, thanks very much. See ya. Well, Leggett, look what I just <laughs> Come on, Leggett, come and have a look at this beautiful Colchester Castle. As you see, we're in the grounds now. If you have a look there, a bridge. You know what bridges are with? Water. They had a word with Scotland Yard, didn't they, to order the Loch Ness Monster down here for a bit. And they had a word with Voldemort as well to bring the Basilisk down here as well. So at one point in time, Colchester Castle was protected by the Basilisk from Harry Potter and the Loch Ness Monster from Scotland. Perfect duo. I bet you can't name a better one. Oh, so there's a big old snake going around this water? Yeah, probably. You know, Leg, it was just going on about the big old basilisk snake going around this castle, hossing around. He was up and down. Oh, well, look at this. This is his grave. See that? There. Just there. You see them children over there jumping on the grave? So disrespectful. Leg, it's just stormed off. Leg, it. Leg, it. Why aren't we going in the castle? Well, I'm a joke, I tell you. I wouldn't raise my voice or anything. They want to charge me a grand to go through that door. A grand? Yeah, we like something for free, don't we, Miller? Yeah, let's back, go. Back to Premier Inn. 
a cracking fact for you. Before we leave the grounds, William the Conqueror built this castle with his own bare hands. And you see that flag on the top? Well, they didn't have B&Q at the time. He put that flag up there. Up and down he went, up that castle, scaling the wall with his own hands. And yeah, strong bloke. So many people. And I all go hand in hand. Another fun fact for you at home, we like these fun facts. Stockwell Street. Jane Taylor composed Twinkle Twinkle Little Star she did down this street. And as you can see here, permit holders only. This has happened untold times. She was down there in her car, writing it up she was, composing it and everything. The ticket man came down here, she saw him. Oh, I'm in trouble. He walked down there, strutting his stuff he was. He knew he was gonna get Jane Taylor, slapped it on her windscreen. Look at these beautiful series of buildings down here, near the old river. Number three came out yesterday and he told us that his house is older than America. That's Simon Swan, and he's been busy. All right, Simon. Right everyone, we're at our last spot in this middle mill weir. Look at that big old slosh over there, Leggett. Sloshing. Well that was a weir, and it's been here since the Norman Conquest, so that's pretty old. Anyway, we were magnet fishing here yesterday, and we had a bit of trouble, didn't we Leggett? Here are the three reasons why. Look at this miller. What's that, an octopus? I have never. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Get into the brambles. Oh, God. The main reason for coming to Colchester to do this exploration video, it wasn't the only reason. We came to do some magnet fishing as well, but we found it incredibly difficult. We were troshing up and down all around Colchester. We stopped at every river spot we could find possible on Google Maps, and we had a lot of trouble. It was either too weedy, too silty, or the river didn't even have any water in itself. Another reason why we'd struggle to magnet fish in Colchester is apparently we need permission from the council. But when we were magnet fishing here yesterday, we had six coppers around us, and that's a true story, and they didn't seem to mind too much, did they, Leggett? That ends this exploration video today. It's a bit different from what we usually go for, so we both hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be doing these all over the UK again, and the world, probably. So that's enough exploration for one day. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next one. Should we go and get our tea now, Leggett? I'm hungry.